Hello everyone. So today we want to talk about how to install a TP-Link th three-way smart switch into a three-way wiring system. Uh, now, before we jump into practice, I first want to talk about the theory. So this is a diagram of a three-way wiring system. Um, three-way meaning uh, you have two switches controlling one light fixture. So uh, you have the hot line the power coming into the first switch. The power will go this way. It will come into the second switch, go to the light fixture, and the coming back uh, through the neutral wire, this will light up the, the bulb here. And then if you flip any of the two switches here, now you can see that the power is cut off, the light will be turned off. Now if you flip another switch, and then you can see that power will come to the light again, the light will be turned on again. So this is how a three-way wiring system works. Um, now to, to install a three-way smart switch into the system, we actually only need to replace this switch, the first switch uh, with a smart switch. So what I mean by first switch is, this is the first switch that the power will come into. Uh, this is what I would call a second switch. And uh, you actually, we actually only need to replace uh, this switch with smart switch. And then you can keep the original dumb switch on this switch in there. We do not need to install a smart switch on this light switch in here. Um, in fact, uh, even if you turn off the light on this dumb switch, Somehow the smart switch here is smart enough to know that uh, the power is cut off on the light. It will show the light is off on your app and you can uh, turn it on again later. Now, uh, I only try this with the TP-Link smart switch. I know it, this way it works for the TP-Link smart switch. I, I, I did not try any other brand. So if you know any other brand works the same way, feel free to let me know. Um, another thing I want to mention is um, since you only need to keep a dumb switch in here, if you, the, you, if you want to put the dimmer on the light, you can actually buy um, a, a three-way, a dumb three-way dimmer switch here. Uh, this will allow you to adjust the brightness of the light uh, using this dumb switch in here because I don't think um, there's any smart three-way dimmer switch in the market. Um, so the, the only way to have a dimmer and do, and also using three-way is uh, you buy a dumb three-way dimmer switch in here. And then certainly you cannot adjust the brightness from your app, but then at least this is better than nothing. Um, uh, now, to do our project, what we need to find out is, out of the two switches in here, which one is the first switch, meaning which one is the first switch that the hot line will come into. Um, now, if you look at uh, what a three-way switch looks like, it will have two traveler and one common in there. Um, so, for the first switch, the common line here will have power always, and then you can test it with a voltage tester. And then for the second smart, the second switch here, the common line, if you disconnect it here, it will not have power. So that's how I f you find out which one of the two switches is the first switch, and that's how you find out which switch to replace with your smart switch. Um, all right, um, enough about theory, let's get into the practice. All right, let's get you get into practice. So I'm at my basement. This is where I want to install my three-way switches. Uh, uh, this is a one of the three-way. You can see uh, I, I can turn the light on and off. And, and then uh, that's another one of the two three-way switches uh, controlling the same light. Uh, which one of these two is the first switch that the hot line going to come in? Let's find it out. Now, before you do anything, before you even open up any panels, the first thing you need to do is find your breaker box and then turn off the power just to make sure everything, everyone is safe. And then you need to use voltage tester to just double check, making sure everything is turned off. 
um, if you are not sure about this, please find an electrician. All right, so uh, the, the power is off and uh, I usually like to just uh, double check. All right, um, this is uh, one of the two three-way switches um, and uh, as you can see, well, I already disconnected, but uh, I just want to show that uh, you can see here, it actually says common in here. So this is a common line of the switch and that these two are the traveler. So how do we know uh, if this is a hot, meaning how do we know if this is a switch we're supposed to replace? Uh, so to do this, I, I need to disconnect this cable from the switch and I'm gonna protect it with a wire nut. And then I will do the same thing to the other switch. I, I'm not gonna shoot it just to save time. Um, and then I will turn on the power to test whether this cable has power or not. Uh, all right, I'm, now I'm gonna do work on the other switch and I will turn on the power. All right, uh, now the power is on, so uh, you gotta be really careful, don't touch anything. That's why I protect this cable with a wire nut in there. So this is one of the common line, uh, one of the two switches. So now I'm testing this. All right, so that means this cable does not have power. That means this is a cable that goes to the light fixtures. Um, so that means this switch is a switch number two in my chart. So this is not a switch we are supposed to replace. Uh, now let's look at the other switch. Um, so this is the other switch and this is a common line. And uh, again, I disconnect it and I'm protecting it with wire knot. Let's see. See? That means this one has power. That means this is a switch. This is the first switch that the hot line coming into. And then this is a switch we're supposed to replace with our three-way smart switch. All right, now I'm gonna turn off the power and I will replace this with my smart switch. All right, uh, I got my dumb switch off and I got my smart three-way switch connected. Uh, so just want to show you, well, this is a single pole switch because it's on the same box. I, I have a previous video talking about single pole, so I'm not gonna waste time here. So let's talk about the three-way. So uh, this is a cable we tested before that um, has constant power. This is a hotline, so we connect it to here. This is where the common goes. And then here are the two travelers. And certainly you need a neutral. You also need to connect the ground. Um, all right, now I'm just gonna mount it up, uh, turn the power on and connect it to the app. All right, so I get my I got my three-way switches, uh, three-way switch mounted now. Um, so I, I don't have the cover for now because you see my previous cover won't work anymore. Um, so I later on I need to go to Home Depot to buy a new cover. Uh, they have those uh, three gang cover you can buy and they will fit uh, these two switches perfectly. And then in the middle they also have the, uh, some like a plate you put it in the middle so that you can just block off the middle slot. Um, so. In the middle there was we had a um, outlet switch in there. I'm not really a big fan of outlet switch, so that's why I just get it connected and I'm not gonna put a third switch in there, which also helps to make more room in here because these three-way switches are th these smart switches are really big actually. So all right, now I'm just gonna uh, show how to connect the three-way switch to the app. Uh, you can probably see that the light is flashing uh, orange and green. That means it's not connected to the app. So now I'm going to show the app here. Uh, if you go to their app, plus sign, I want to add a device instead of a group. I'm going to add a smart switch. This is a three-way switch. All right, it's connected. Um, yeah, it's orange or green. And then it's searching.
connect. This is my Wi-Fi. Make sure I'm on my Wi-Fi. Actually not, so make sure I connect to the Wi-Fi because I'm currently on the uh what's going on here? Alright. I'm gonna call this uh basement TV room. Switch. How many traditional three-way switches are you upgrading? Just one. Sounds good. All right. Seems like it's connected, and I don't have to upgrade firmware this time. Uh, now let's try it out. Um, show both. So if I click this. You see my light is on, and uh, this is showing the light is on. I turn it off, this is certainly off. And I can also certainly turn it on and off using my app. Now let's look at the second switch of this three-way wiring situation. Um, I want to show how it works uh, without we having to replace it with smart switch. Now, this is the second switch, uh, and actually it's this one. So, as you can see, I will turn the light on. And now you see, I have a dumb switch in here, but then if I turn light on, the other smart switch is smart enough to know that um, the light is on, so it um, turned it on on the light switch in here. So, and then I turn it off here. Now it's off. Turn it on again. It's on. It certainly seems like it take a couple of seconds. I can turn it off here. I will turn it on here. And now it's on, on the app. All right. So this is how you use a TP-Link smart three-way switch to uh, upgrade a three-way wiring situation and you actually only need one smart switch instead of two and keep this one as a dumb switch um, all right uh, thank you for watching my video hope uh, i'm hoping it's helping for helpful uh, if you like my video please subscribe thank you bye